Take nine. Ah. Ted, you seem to have had some problems with your musicians lately. What happened? No problems. No problems. Uh, I've been uh, keeping my eyes open, though. You know, I still dig rock and roll. I love rock and roll. I crave rock and roll. I must have rock and roll. I will have rock and roll. If there are people around me who don't rock and roll, get lost, scum. That ain't no trouble. No trouble whatsoever. Your shoes wear out, you get new ones, right? I need energy. I need excitement. I need intensity in the music. Who's so the new I guy? call on people who can play rock and roll like that. Who's the new guy? The new guy, um, well, since you saw us last, of course, Charlie's been with me a year now. Uh, the new guy who's with us now is uh, Dave Kiswini. Dave Kiswini is my new bass player from Detroit. And I must mention that my reason for changing musician is usually because I must have excitement by everybody. Now, the, the boy who played bass on the Weekend Warriors album, John Souter, was great. Good brain, good rock and roll feel. He had all the good things. There was just a slight difference in playing style. He didn't quite pound enough for me, and the songs demand a type of bang, go, 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 kind of rhythm. So I had to let John go, which is strange because usually guys get lazy and I kick him out. But John was not lazy. John was very energetic and he had a great attitude, but there was just a slight style difference. Uh, great. Uh, you got a new album out. Can you tell us something about it? New album is called State of Shock. It's a masterpiece. It's the best album I have ever done. The song on the beginning of the album called Paralyzed, which we did today at the soundtrack, may very well be the best rock and roll tune ever created to mankind. Uh, the album has got more crunching rock and roll on it than anything I've ever done. But it also has some very different sides to it. It's got a real pretty, quiet, slow ballad on it, which uh, is something that I felt at a certain time last year. And uh, I wrote a song around certain feelings, and I put it on the album, because I think it's a very pretty song. But for the most part, the album rocks. We also do, on the State of Shock album, is also a different song for me. I did a Beatles song off the Revolver album, a song George Harrison wrote called I Want to Tell You. And George will finally realize how the song was supposed to sound. And uh, overall, the album really snorts. I mean, the album is a snorting son of a gun, man, and I love it. It'll be out real soon. It is said that uh, you play so loud that you're deaf. Is that true? No, not true at all. In fact, my right ear is better than normal. You know, I have my ears checked every year because it's obviously a danger episode every time we get in front of such decibels, you know. But I've always worn earplugs in my ears. I cram them babies in my ears every night to protect myself, you know. If I'm dealing with glass, if I'm picking broken glass up, I wear gloves. If I'm playing with enough power to blow your brains out, I wear earplugs. Now, it's true that my left ear has lost a bit of uh, hearing at about 4,000 cycles, around 13 dB. But that's average. That's average for a uh, uh, metal worker or something like that. And I figure it's small price, to, small price to pay for what I do. Thank <laughs> you.